I began photographing the creeks in Charlotte about 15 years ago, and because of my love for water, I found myself personifying the creeks as if they were humans that were being mistreated. But then I will see places along the creeks that give me hope. It reminds me that there is a resilience out there. Keeping Watch was born out of a collaboration with three different women. It quickly then became a three-year initiative dedicated to sustainability in Charlotte with a very local focus. This year, we're creating a hydrological awareness. A lot of my work is about introducing people to how watersheds work or how rain works. Before people lived on the land, the rain went into the soil. We've covered everything with hard surfaces, so it rolls right off of those surfaces as if the whole world was wearing a raincoat and it goes directly into the streams. Nobody thinks about where does that water go? It just sort of disappears down our pipes and then that's the last we see of it. That connection between the stuff coming out of the sky and what our streams are made out of is completely lost. My overarching concern as an artist is really interconnectedness. Usually when you go on some open street map, creeks are not at the center of those maps. It's really streets that dominate. Mecklenburg County actually straddles two watersheds. And I think that rivers and creek streams are both a literal and a conceptual platform. For instance, Little Sugar Creek moves through a lot of different kinds of communities. And so that's one big connection between all of those places. Charlotte's wonderful natural resource is these creeks, and we push them aside. We've asked people to consider that and have a relationship with them again. And when people have a relationship to something, they treasure it and they value it much more. There's a number of different churches, different denominations, different religious leaders who are looking at different way of thinking about our role in the world, how we look and how we use environment. The whole environmental discourse is mostly provided by science. There are people who respond to them and they are engaging in this conversation, but a lot of people may be much more responsive to the emotional arguments religion and faith, morality or a certain ethics might be the way for them to look at those issues in a different way. If this is God's given phenomena we are dealing with, shall we take care of it and shall we respect it? Through looking at the water in their own creeks, by seeing the intricate systems of the creeks, by asking the question about morality, we're almost removing the outer layer and letting the creeks rise up to the surface. <laughs>